I'm rating the best and worst exercises for building up to a 200 kilogram or 440 pound bench press. So if you're struggling to build your strength on the bench press and you want to lift some massive weights, then stick around to the end of the video where I lay out the perfect bench press routine. I'll be rating them from F to S tier and showing you the exact exercises that allowed my bench press to absolutely blow up with very little effort. Well, let's get straight into it. Starting with the bottom of the barrel in in the F tier, we have the dumbbell pullover. I mean, who's still doing this exercise for chest? I think a lot of people might have seen Ernie doing it in pumping iron and know they swear by it, but I would say it's definitely better as a lat exercise. Try not to get caught up in bodybuilding legends and what exercises that they're doing as these people are very unique and have a very unique response to training. Coming in at number two is a plate squeeze press. Now, disclaimer, this isn't something that you will see very often, but I've definitely seen it way too often, in my opinion. And your ability to lift heavy weights with this exercise is actually very minimal. And I would argue to say absolutely pointless. The stimulus is astronomically low and the risk of injury is astronomically high. So why would we do this exercise? The only reason you would do it is if you want your face caved in by a weight plate, so maybe skinnies. The last exercise we need to stay away from is decline dumbbell flies. Decline does have its place and can overload the triceps by limiting the range of motion but it's so far away from giving us any carryover to the bench press and you need to throw this exercise in the bin and keep it there forever seeing positive progress from this exercise is about as likely as seeing positive progress from the government it's probably not going to happen now let's move up to category d and now we're getting a little bit more serious starting with cable crossovers this is such a great exercise as a beginner lifter when you're learning to isolate a muscle and put on from muscle mass. But when it comes to building a big bench press, its carryover is so little that you might as well say goodbye to this one. But why? There's going to be similar exercises that I do rate higher. Yes, I'm going to be guilty of that. But due to the cable crossover requiring so much stability, as the weights get heavier, it actually affects your ability to go really heavy, work the required muscle, and see long-term progression. Now we have the landmine chest press. This is an exercise you'd be better off giving your mum or dad who are 50 plus. It's good for building in stability and shoulder health but to build muscle and strength I'm not so sure maybe do it as part of some rehab work or if you play golf now this is going to be my most controversial one but it's push-ups now I love push-ups I think they're absolutely fantastic and you get some extremely extremely good growth with them but with it being an exercise that demands such a large amount of reps I've always felt that the carryover is minimal I've seen countless people who do an unlimited amount of push-ups and then don't have a very strong bench press it's just way too endurance based i know before you say it this doesn't count for guys who exclusively have a strong bench press and then start to do a failure set of push-ups it's totally different now enough of the controversy that has the ability to blow a plyometric specialist head off let's move into category c we're starting with a pet deck i don't think we should completely neglect a fly position it'll definitely help and the reason i love the pet deck fly is because it's a type of fly that allows you to progress way more than any other. You have great stability and back support and you can also change the seat position to suit you. This is great for adding some real meat onto your chest. Now, on to chest press machines. This could arguably be placed higher, but I am putting it here. And I think this should generally just be used as a chest builder and not necessarily a strength builder. I feel its place is to train it at high reps and take advantage of how well it isolates and creates a pump. Don't use this exercise to complete low rep set. Now I might get some stick for placing this exercise so low but it's the incline barbell bench press. Is it a good exercise? Yes absolutely. Is it a great exercise in my opinion? No. The injury risk is much higher in your shoulders due to the nature of the position in which you press and I find that the carryover is actually pretty limited. However feel free to give it a go. Who's ready for category B? Let's go. This is going to be the tier of traditional presses and I'm love all of these exercises 
guys, and they work very well. Firstly, we have the incline dumbbell press. It's not super specific to the bench press, but it's very handy at building overall chest strength and size. It allows for a bigger stretch and a lot of chest development, therefore giving a lot of carryover. Second, nice and simple, we have the flat dumbbell press. Identical to what I've just said about the incline, but a bit more specific due to its flat nature and definitely an exercise to have in your training. And lastly, in category B, is the flat Smith machine bench press. I love that it replicates the pattern of a standard bench press, but isolates at the same time. And I find this exercise very good for playing around with different grip positions and potentially using a close grip for maximum effect. We're getting close to the big daddies now. It's time for A tier. Starting off with chest dips. I absolutely love dips. You can vary them by leaning further forward to target your chest, or you can target the triceps more by being a little bit more upright. But ultimately, their ability to build size and strength in your triceps is absolutely massive. Start with your body weight for higher reps and then move into overloading with weight attached to you. I guarantee the progress on this exercise will transfer into the bench press tremendously. Moving in to the neutral grip dumbbell chest press. Why neutral grip and not regular? Well, the neutral grip, it mimics the elbow position from a traditional bench press. So generally speaking, it gives you way more carryover. With you mimicking this position, it also allows you to go past the normal range. Of course, with a barbell, you stop when the bar hits your chest, but this isn't the case when you have a dumbbell in hand. You can get a bigger stretch and emphasize it even more. And this therefore helps build explosive power from your chest. But not only that, because your grip is neutral, it's way more tricep dominant. So therefore you have more carryover into your triceps as well. And lastly, we have the JM press. This was created by legendary powerlifter JM Blakely. And this exercise is very unique, but can be highly risky when done incorrect. Its ability to build insane tricep strength is absolutely crazy. And I've used this for myself and for a lot of my clients and the feedback is always excellent. It teaches your triceps to become very strong from a very naturally weak position. And strength is all about being rid of these weaknesses. So if you can find small ways to do this, take advantage of it. Now for the big finale you've all been waiting for, S tier. Coming in at number one is the pause bench press. There isn't an exercise I have found on the planet that works better than this. You might be thinking it's just the bench press. Yes, correct, but with a twist. Most people touch and go to maximize reps, but with a pause, you truly teach your body to explode from nothing. Having a heavy weight rest on your chest and to have no other support other than raw strength to move it back upwards is a no-brainer. This built my bench press like no other and it will build yours too. Now, we have the close grip bench press. I love specificity and nothing is more specific as an accessory exercise than this. You're practicing the same pattern, but you're prioritizing your triceps. And big, strong triceps equal a big, strong bench press. Don't forget that. I feel that this exercise works best as being the first exercise on your secondary bench press day. And I'd recommend doing anywhere between five and eight reps for four to five working sets. And lastly, within S tier, we have the board or block bench press. I use this exercise a lot during bench press speciality blocks. As I said before, strong triceps really matter the most. This allows you to overload in the exact position where you are weakest. Most people can move the bar off of their chest, but when the triceps want to take over, generally, this is where I see people fail. So using this exercise to start each rep from that potential failure point literally turns your weakness into a strength. Get good at these. I promise your triceps will never let you down in the bench press ever again. So there we have it, the best and worst exercises for building a massive bench press. And guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing to the channel and maybe leaving a like on the video. The channel is growing really well right now. It'd be nice to see that to continue. But for now, I will see you all in the next video.